Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Cook It With On TV, guys. I appreciate you being here. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. It only takes a moment. <laughs> I keep saying smidgey, man. I don't want to offend anybody. So I had to change that. It takes a moment of your time and it doesn't cost you a dime, guys. Now listen, this is quick and easy. And these are all the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need two cups of your milk. Whatever type of seasonings that you like to season, that you like to use when you're baking potatoes or whatever, or cooking potatoes, you use that. I chose to use some Laurie seasoning salt, garlic powder, and some black pepper. And also, you're going to need a half of an onion. You're going to need about three tablespoons of your butter and also three tablespoons of flour. You're going to need anywhere from five to six medium potatoes. I have five large potatoes, so I'm thinking about deducting one. I'll play along with that. I'll cut up four, and if it seems like it's enough, then I'll stop there. I, that's that's debatable. And also in here, I have my two cups of cheese. My choice of cheese was the triple cheese. Um, the triple tree. Oh, I'm getting tight on y'all. The triple cheese, and and also a cup of mozzarella cheese. And I'm thinking about adding a little more mozzarella cheese to go with it. You know how you get that that sticky, icky, ooey gooey. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Alrighty, guys, listen. I have talked enough. Alrighty guys, so listen, let's get into this video. And once again, thanks for joining hey guys. I uh, I decided to only use four. Look at look at the amount of potatoes I got for four. Alrighty guys, and that's the other one there. So I'm gonna put these in water until I need them guys. So let's get on to make our sauce to go over our potatoes. Alrighty guys, and I'm done cutting up the onions to go with this. So now let's mix all of this stuff together. Let's get started on this Okay sauce. guys, I just put in my two tablespoons of sugar into my cooking pan. And now here I have my two cups of my almond milk. Like I said, whatever milk you use, then that's what you use. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're going to put this in here. And I'm going to put it on low. You put it on about two. I'm ready, guys, and we're going to mix this up. And once it, you know, once I can see that the milk is getting hot, I don't want it to bubble. I don't want it to start bubbling because then you know, I got to break down the flour in here as well. And then also I need to add in my two tablespoons of butter. Alrighty guys, so give me one. Okay guys, so now I have my two cups of milk, my two tablespoons of flour, and my two tablespoons of butter. So we're going to let all of this kind of kind of calm down and, and shake hands and meet up and mix up well, guys. But remember, when you're cooking with milk, you want to make sure that your that your heat is on low, okay? Because you don't want to you don't want to curl your milk or cook it. You want our milk to be nice and smoothy. Then once I see that my sugar and my butter has melted down, then I'm going to add in a little of my cheese in with it. But while that's doing that, I'm I'm going to I'm draining the water off of my off of my potatoes, guys. I'm going to put my potatoes and my onions in my cooking pan here. And then I'm going to add in my seasonings directly on my potatoes, okay? So give me one minute, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now it's time for us to take our potatoes out. Like I said, I was setting them, lifting the water drain off of them. Look at that. Now, that's four potatoes. That's more than enough. More than enough. Okay, then I'm going to add in my onions. Like I said, this is like a quick and easy dish, guys. Okay, we're going to put in some uh, a garlic powder. A little seasoning salt. Now you can just use regular salt if you choose to do so, guys. Like I said, you know, it's your dish. You can kind of do it how you want. And next, you're gonna add in some black pepper. While keeping our eye on our milk, guys, it's on low, so it's not really doing anything. I just want it to start breaking down until I can get to it. Okay, and then mix all of this up. I know I should have had my gloves on. I know, I know, I know already. Alrighty. Now I was gonna stack these a certain kind of way. And you know what? I still might do just do that. Hold on one minute, because I want it to look really nice and pretty, and I want the cheese to be able to to come on it nice and smooth. So just give me one minute, guys. Okay, guys, now see, this is how I wanted to set it up so that all of the cheese and all of 
the uh, my sauce would get in between each and every one of my potatoes. Y'all, let's see. You know what? I forgot to turn on my oven, but you want to have your oven pre-cooked. Um, I'm going to pre-cook mine at 380. Alrighty, guys. So now we're going to put some of the cheese on top. Now listen, if two, if two cups of cheese is not enough, it's your dish. You can add more if you want. Because I think I'm going to add a little more. I want to make sure that this cheese is everywhere before I put my sauce on top. And then I, you know what? And then once I put my sauce on top, then I'm going to add more cheese. I'm going to add more cheese on top. So it can be chewy, ooey, gooey, y'all. So I want to make sure that that it has cheese on all the pieces that I can see. All right, now our sauce. Sauce is nice and um, it's still a little warm and everything is melted down. So next, let me see, did I forget to put anything in here? Um, I'm gonna double check, gotta think, gotta think. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's it because I seasoned my potatoes. And yeah, okay, so I think we are ready to add our sauce all over. I'm sorry, I thought I was showing you guys. All over. Okay, guys. Now, I think two cups of milk. Okay, see how you got little milk over here in the side? So, it's all down at the bottom. All right, so next what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more cheese on the top. A little more cheese on top of that sauce. The majority of the cheese I'm adding on top is the um, it's a mozzarella cheese. All right, just a little bit more. So instead of two cups, maybe do about three, three and a half, or four. It all depends. You know, the size of potatoes that I had was like. Kind of a lot. Alrighty, guys. So listen, I'll let you be the judge of that. Alrighty. Okay, so everything is ready. So once my oven heats up to 370, 380, then I'm gonna pop it in there and hopefully maybe about 20 minutes. You know what? I think I'll cook it slower. I think I'll keep my temperature at 350. Alrighty, guys. So listen, let me get this in the oven. And when I come back. Our meal will be complete. So just put my foil on top. Make sure you cover it because you want your to pay, you want your potatoes to be done in the inside, guys. Maybe the last 15 minutes, 15, yeah, about maybe the last 15 minutes you can take it off. Then that way your cheese on top will kind of get a little crisp and brown up. Okay, guys, and there you have it. This is your plate. This is how I make my Ogaten potatoes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Let me show you the full tray of it, how it turned really good. Really, 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 really good. I'm, I'm satisfied. If you enjoyed yourself with me today, and if you like how I do what I do, or when I do what I do in my kitchen, guys, subscribe to my channel. Don't just watch me. Subscribe to my channel, guys, and share my channel with your family, friends, and until next time, bye.